Hey guys, we are Jeff and Lori, located in Wilmington, North Carolina, and we own and operate Indigo Silver Studio and The Shoot Space, a membership-based studio for the Wilmington photographic community. Today, we want to take you on a little bit of a tour and show you how we do things here at the studio and help you get some ideas for opening a membership-based studio in your area. Hey guys, Lori here at The Shoot Space. We're going to take you on a little walking tour of our studio to give you a feel for how the space is set up, hopefully give you some ideas on how to set up a studio share of your own. So we're starting the tour outside of the studio so that you can see what we're talking about in the article with the neutral branding. So on the door right here, we have the logo for the shoot space. Hey, construction next door. Um, but down here on the windows, we have logos of some of the other members here. Um, depending on the level of membership, they get a window logo so that people who are pulling up know that they're in the right space. Let's take it inside. Shall I hold the door open for you? Yes. Okay. All right, so as you walk into the studio here, you'll get a little bit of a sense of actually some of the things that we talked about in last month's episode, as far as um, we have the lobby set up to help start the sales process right away. So as you came through the doors, one of the first things that you saw was our lobby set up here that's really designed to have the look and feel of a living room. So we have some furniture here, we've got an area rug, a coffee table, a chandelier, and what we're really showing is the scale of the furniture, or I'm sorry, the scale of the wall portraits relative to furniture, really get people out of that eight by 10 mindset. If you notice though, everything here is neutrally branded. You don't see any one particular photographer's logos on any of this work because this is still part of that neutral space. So follow me back this way. You'll see a little bit more of our setup. We've got a fireplace mantle here just to give some people ideas of what kind of scale goes over fireplace mantles. And as you come around the corner here, you'll see Indigo Silver's business office. So this is my and Jeff's personal office for where we get work done related to our actual photography studio. One of the things that we talked about in the article is separating out that branding. So on this office, we have an Indigo Silver branded sign. Um, so it's really clear, you know, where the, where the different divisions of the countries are, so to speak. So in here is our office. Not really relevant to the tour, but I always think it's kind of fun to see a little peek behind the scenes here. So um, this is where, you know, we, we do all of our work. This is my workstation here. Jeff's is right next to you, right here our entire collection of the printed Shutterfest magazines, or Shutter magazines, as it were, along with our Shutterfest Extreme wristbands. We're kind of nerdy like that, right? And if you notice, Jeff is wearing his Shutterfest t-shirt today. So onward and forward, but this is our personal office. Now, as we come around this way, this is what the majority of clients are gonna see when they actually come into the studio. So they'll be greeted with the living room set here, They'll come around. We've got a coffee maker here for guests to use. And again, we're showing art over furniture. We're showing it to scale. Our little scent warmer that Jeff always likes to talk about, that signature scent that we have, that's where it starts right there. And as we come around, this is also something that you would have seen in last month's video. Um, this is Indigo Silver's sales room. So because Jeff and I do so many in-person consultations with our clients, we actually rent a room just to do our own sales here. Um, so everything in here is Indigo Silver branded and if the doors weren't open, you'd see an Indigo Silver sign on the outside as well. So um, just to give you a little peek, if you didn't see last month's video, we've got all of our products laid out here on the table, lots of wall portraits on the wall. And then of course the clients would be viewing their images on the big screen TV. So this space is really designed to help us sell. Now, as I mentioned, Jeff and I meet with clients a lot. So we carved out a room that's just for us to use with our clients. But as you'll see in a few minutes, we have a neutrally branded sales room in the back as well. So let's go on back. Now I am gonna pull this door as we go into the camera room just so you can see what I was talking about with the neutral signs. So everywhere that's a shared space here in the studio has a sign that just has the shoot space branding on it so that it's not um, catered to any one particular photographer. This really helps photographers feel comfortable here, you know, in that they don't feel like they're bringing their clients to Indigo Silver's personal studio. So we're gonna go around into the actual camera room here. And this is our studio setup. 
Jeff, where do you, do you want me just to walk yep, around? Yep, just kind of walk around. And we're barefoot. That's okay. That's what we're, <laughs> we're doing. We're barefoot so that I wouldn't make shoe noises on the video as we're walking through. So yay for being your own boss. You get to be barefoot in the studio. All right, so we've got a handful of like different kind of um, different styles of lighting and softbox. We're huge fans of Profoto. Yay, go Profoto. Um, and so you'll see some of that stuff around in through here. Um, some of our sets stay set up most of the time. Now, if we need to, obviously we can break down this set, but usually if someone's in here to do headshots, they're gonna be photographing over in this area that we'll get to in a minute. So we've got some sets that are permanently set up, um, some that we kind of break down and that are modular. Over here, we have our psych wall. Um, so this is a great setup to do if you just need that basic black or white background. We've got some backgrounds that roll down out of the ceiling here for a full, um, full length 20 foot backdrop. Um, we've also designed even where the side of the site, you can actually shoot back this way and use this as a backdrop as well. So it's, it's meant to be um, pretty diverse. You can get a lot of different types of photos in one small spot, but this is the, the main room that everybody shares. So we have our monthly members and we have our members that have offices here. This is the room that everyone shoots in. So one of the really important things is that it's important for the room to go back to this state after somebody shoot um, so that it can be an empty shell or a blank slate for the next person to use. So part of the rules is, you know, if you break it, you bought it and clean up when you're done, right? As we go back this way, I think this is actually an important part of having a shared studio is that our hair and makeup area and our dressing room are held within the camera room so that if someone is renting this room, they've got everything they need right in through here. So in through here, we've got a hair and makeup vanity. So you can see we've got the vanity set up with the adjustable height chairs. We've got the mirrors. These are daylight balanced LEDs so they don't get hot. That's a really important thing. Um, when we first moved in, we had the like, just regular incandescent bulbs and you would melt in here. It would get so hot. Um, so these really help with helping the hair and makeup artist be able to apply makeup based on the lighting that you're going to be shooting, which is usually daylight balanced. And it helps so that we don't die of heat in here as well. Um, inside here, we've got some additional props and lighting. It's not too exciting for me to open, but um, we also have a radio in there so that they can control music while they're here in the shoot as well. And then back in through here is the dressing room. So we've got a dressing room right built into the camera room so that they can hang up their outfits on the wall. We've got a little hanger for jewelry. There's a mirror over on this side. So basically, you know, you can do your entire shoot contained in this room and not have to be running back and forth. We felt that that was a really important addition to have in our studio so that clients weren't having to run back and forth to the bathroom and be disruptive of other things that might be happening here at the studio. So that's a quick look at our camera room. Follow me on out this way. And we'll go into our props and lighting room. So this is our props and lighting room, or as we lovingly call it, it's the garage. Um, basically, this is where everybody who has an office here stores their gear. And this is another thing that we talked about in the article, is that you need to have set places for everyone to have their stuff. So as you come in through here, this is actually Chris's shelf and all of his stuff over in this corner. This back corner back here is all of Mark's stuff. This is the lighting that everybody shares in addition to what's in the camera room as well. Over here, this shelf is all Indigo Silver stuff, so mine and Jeff's stuff. And then back here, we have a ton of different props. We've got some sofas and um, newborn bean bags and blankets and all kinds of things. This is basically free for everyone to share. Um, so it's important, I think, for each person to have a place to put their own stuff. Now, one thing that we've considered is actually putting lockers in here. Um, right now, it's not really a necessity, but it's something that we've considered, you know, people that do have a higher monthly membership that want to store stuff here, we might carve out some additional storage for them. But as for now, the only people that store anything in here are the members. So it, or the, um, the, the members that actually have offices here. So if another member wants to come in and start their shoot, basically we check them in and it starts right here. Um, we ask them, you know, what kind of lighting do they need? Do they need any clamps? Do they need sandbags? Do they need light stands? And we check all that stuff out to them during their shoot. And then at the end of the shoot, we check it all back in. So that's this room here. Now, as we go on back further down the hallway, 
This is our neutrally branded sales and consultation room. And I think this room is a really great resource to have here in the area, um, just because so many people are still meeting with their clients in coffee shops for lack of something better. Um, so we modeled this one after our sales room that we have up front, um, but with a little bit more neutral branding. So let me grab one of these signs real quick and I'll show you how someone can change this into their own private office. They're in these drawers. All right. So each member that has um, the right level of membership to have a branded sales room, they get their own sign. So that basically they take this one down, they put theirs up, and then they're gonna change out the room, and I'll show you that in just a minute, so that when clients get here, the clients think that this is actually their private office. So it gives a little bit more of a custom uh, look than just renting like a, um, renting a, what do you call it, like a conference room. Um, what were you pointing at, Jeff? And just tell them where the signs are from and what they are. Oh, the sign, the, so these signs are just metal prints. So you can order, I don't, the exact size of these is sort of weird. It's like five by nine or something strange like that. Um, but they're essentially metal prints that you can order from your favorite lab. And then we just put the logo on it. We try and design them all to be really similar. So they're all the same size and shape, um, just clean background with the photographer's logo on it. So those all get stored in here. Now, this room is currently set up to be that blank slate. Um, so Jeff and I actually started by photographing just some fine art um, landscapes so that it wasn't specific to any one person's genre, right? It's not weddings, it's not babies, it's not portraits. And the prints, again, are unbranded. They're mine and Jeff's work just because, you know, we, we were able to come up with some images to put together. But you could also purchase something off of like stock photos or something like that if you need something that's just clean and coordinated. Now, one of the things that we did in this room is we set these up to be diptychs. So this, these two images, we actually stretched one image across here, but you could easily do this with two different images as well. The idea though, is that we're showing that this is a set. You don't want clients to look around the room and just see one print and think that that's all that they need to fill up a whole wall. So we're showing how you would coordinate your canvases together. Same for the canvases that are here above the sofa. That's basically a smaller version of that same diptych. Um, so you could do this with, you know, diptychs or triptychs or any kind of collage. Um, they can be, you know, images that are all from the same session as opposed to one image stretched across. But again, the idea is showing people how their artwork is supposed to hang. Now, Jeff has um, just turned his back to that larger grouping, but that biggest print canvas that was on the wall is a 30 by 40. The smallest print in here is this one, and it's a 16 by 20 and it's mirrored to this one on the other side. So even still, we're showing this as a set to frame your TV, right? So even in this set with these smaller prints, it's still 16 by 20, which isn't that small, and it's still a set of two. So we're trying to help the photographers that are in this room um, be able to sell these types of things to their clients. So now, um, basically, these canvases are all designed as a template, right? And anybody who has a membership here, we tell them what sizes they can order so that if they want to get here about 10 minutes before their clients, they take our prints down, they put their own prints up, they change the sign out on the wall, then they put like their, um, their own albums or accordion books or, you know, press cards or little tchotchkes here out on the table. And then they use the TV to have their own slideshow. And now again, this looks like it's their private office and helps to really impress the clients. So I think this is really a great resource to have in your local area. Um, this one, because we really want people to start doing IPS, we actually keep the rates on this room pretty low. So I think um, a non-member can rate this room or rent this room for 20 bucks. And I think it's even less than that if you're a member here. So. Um, you know, we try and really encourage people to take advantage of this resource that we have. Jeff, did I miss anything as far as this room goes? Nope, that's it, I okay. think. All right, so let's keep on going. So out here in the hallway, this is just like our, our bulletin board if we have any events coming up, if people have any gear for sale, anything like that. If we have spare magazines, we've got a pile here of things that people can take home with them. Um, so really just kind of reinforcing that idea that this is a community as well, right? Come on back this way. Now back here, we have a couple more private offices. So this is Chris Bremer's private office. 
and back here, this is Mark Steelman's private office. Both of these guys are Shutterfesters, so hopefully you've had a chance to meet them at one of the Shutterfests that they've attended, and um, I'm sure we'll be dragging them to all the future Shutterfests as well. In any case, they've got their private offices here. And then um, as we trail towards the back, there's a little bit less exciting things to see, but I'll walk you through it anyway. Here again, art over furniture and just you know using a way to kind of keep the branding going we've got the silver the scroll work things like that some um, photography magazines out here just to you know keep a little bit of interest in the hallway back here we have the restroom which you might think it's silly that i'm showing you the restroom but this restroom is pretty darn cool um, a lot of people ooh and awe when they see it for the first time oh, we don't need to turn the fan on that's not going to help the video at all um, in any case so this is our restroom Pretty proud to um, to share that Jeff built that, that sink custom out of an antique buffet and then carved a hole out of it and dropped a sink down into it. No, it's a fruit bowl from Belt that I drilled a hole in the bottom and made it into a sink. Okay, that. Um, so it's an antique buffet and a fruit bowl that he's converted into a sink that... Um, oh, hey, look there. I'm in, I'm in the mirror so you can still see me. So uh, <laughs> so just keeping that, that same sort of branding of um, the sort of French filigree scroll work that we have throughout here. So um, get lots of oohs and ahs over the bathroom. People think it's pretty cool. And then back here... Not a whole lot to show that's exciting for video. Like we have a broom closet back here. Um, around the corner through the curtains, we have basically like a staff kitchen area. Um, so people, we've got a fridge and a toaster oven and a microwave and people can keep food here, that kind of thing. Um, we have an additional like washroom to wash dishes and things like that. So not too exciting to show for video, but important things to think about. You definitely want somewhere to eat and somewhere to wash your dishes and things like that. Um, what did I miss? Anything that you can think of that I haven't added to this video? Um, talk a little bit more about how the membership rates are structured, how the um, liability insurance is done. That's all in the article. All in the article. Yep. Okay, there you go. So this is just meant to be a, a little um, visual tool to add on to the article. So you're interested in all that stuff, go check out our website. Um, the shootspace.com has all of our current rates on it. If you just want to see how we've got it structured or what some um, ideal rates will be. Also in the article, we talk about some pros and cons of doing a, a shoot, um, a shoot space, <laughs> um, a shared studio concept. And we also talk about just things to consider as far as whether you, you want to make this a full-time thing or just something for a little bit of extra money. So lots of good tips in the article. Go check it out. June edition of Shutter Magazine 2018. Um, I think I'm out of ideas. So that concludes our video tour. Thank you guys for joining us and we will see you next month. Bye.